I read Beloved. Um, ultimately found it a very interesting uh, book. And, you know, we have some thoughts on it. And um, in this uh, podcast, we're going to be giving our uh, thoughts and uh, details. Um, analysis on um, the book. So, um, one of the first things I'd like to address is the initial feelings I had while uh, reading the book. Um, I think the book made me very contemplative and it made me think about, uh, Beloved made me think about how much of America is still to this day built to preserve slavery, whether, you know, it's through the, you know, the carceral system or through the defunding of, you know, marginalized communities, education, all these various ways to try to, you know, keep people in a system of free labor. And I think that's, I think that's still embedded deep within our uh, country. So um, I want to hear your your guys' uh, thoughts um, on that. Does anyone have anything to add? As I read the book, I kind of felt upset a lot of the times because this it just wasn't like a good reading to do. Like, oh, I felt so bad for them, and then I felt a little hopeful at the end. But it was mostly like empathy, the kind of feelings I had during the book. You know, I I, I wouldn't. That it was like empathy throughout the book. Like you kind of felt for them. To be fair, I read the book, but it was kind of hard to get through. Just because it was the whole jumping around, so like you understood her, how she is now, and then how it was in the past, and it was very kind of going back and forth, so it was hard read, but you do feel like empathy throughout the entire book, and you do see the whole, um, how, how effective they are because they are, um, they were slaves, and how that kind of take a toll on their entire lives after. Yeah, um... Those are all very, um... I have to agree, too. Yeah. I, I think that I feel empathy um, for the most part, but I also feel, like, anger at the fact that they have to go through something like that. And, you know, it's something that it's, it was, like, out of their control. So I do feel like, um... I, I have feel, like, mixed feelings about it. Uh, yeah. I, I think we, I think we're all kind of reaching, um, like the same uh, point here. So another question or maybe another thought that came up, you know, at, during my reading was, um, uh, why does Seth Seath kill her uh, beloved daughter? You know, like what's the, the motive b- behind that? And I think what I was able to surmise was, the process of being dehumanized and exploited under slavery was so traumatic that she didn't want her children, especially, you know, a a newly born, you know, baby, to have to be exposed to a world like that where they are considered property. So uh, what are your guys' uh, thoughts on on yeah, like it's actions. one thing to go through it, and another thing to know that someone you love will go through it. It's just really heartbreaking. So I feel like her heartbreak of seeing her daughter be treated the way she was is what really led her to kill her daughter in the first place. Yeah, I think he also kind of mentions that it's like she was ready to kill all of them. It wasn't just her daughter. Or it wasn't just um, beloved. She was ready to kill them all because she it was out of love. She didn't want them to feel how she felt or have to be owned like that. Um, okay. I think we're all, yeah, those are all very interesting observations. I think we're all kind of like on the same like agreement there. So number four, uh, I got to ask, uh, was the ending uh, satisfying uh, to you? Like, what were your general thoughts on the uh, on the ending of, of the book? I don't know if I would say satisfying. It ended in a somewhat happy way. 
but I don't feel like because of all the shared trauma that they do have and with everything that kind of happened, I don't know if it's necessarily um, an overall happiness. It's like a, I escaped and I survived this, but I don't know if it's fully over kind of trauma. I agree. I do feel like it left like an empty feeling, like there's something missing. Like an empty happiness. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I agree. It's like a, it's like a hole. That can't be filled. Mm-hmm. Like even though they're healing, that healing still came at a at a cost, at an absence of what was originally there. It was like somewhat like bittersweet. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think that's the sentiment we're all kind of seeing here. So um did this novel uh change like your perspective or were you exposed to like some new ideas? around you know uh peoples particularly like enslaved peoples or just people from a different part of the world like what has this book changed your perspective in any way i mean in a way it kind of did i didn't really put much research into slavery before so while reading the book it was like even more heartbreaking just like reading it as it goes on and on because when you think of slavery i Everything that happened in the book was somewhat what I had imagined it, but the fact that I'm reading about it is kind of heartbreaking, you know? Okay. Uh, for I think... mm-hmm. Sorry, go for it. Okay, uh, for me, um, I was already, uh, first of all, uh, I should make this pretty clear, I am a black man, so I already kind of... I'm all, I already kind of have some history with, you know, researching this topic, um, you know, just being in my community and stuff like that. And, um, uh, while I don't think it maybe broadened, I think it did broaden my perspective. And I think the way it did was thinking about the way how slavery commodified, um, the reproduction and the, um, the reproductive like agency of of black women you know the sexual violence towards black women under slavery i think that's something i i wasn't nearly as um uh, considerate of in my analysis of the institution of slavery so uh what about uh you guys i don't think it, i think it's the only thing that we truly kind of learn about slavery if, unless you're really into it or unless it kind of you have a personal connection to it we learn only in its school mm-hmm. and i think one of the the changes from what a textbook tells us to what beloved would tell us is the kind of the effect it takes on the person itself that emotional effect that it has and it is a lot like the reproductive system, like the reproductive control that slave owners had on people, that that took a huge toll on women, especially that were slaves. Yes, and I think that's something that we learn a lot about in this book. I do like the use of uh, perspective, the perspective from the characters themselves, and you know, it's not from like the lens of like looking at the institution, rather it's looking at their own experience and their own traumas and how that affected them directly. So I do appreciate that. Uh, what were, what do you think were the main, uh, themes of the book? What do you think were just, like, the ideas the author explores? I want to hear your guys' uh, opinion on that. I think the biggest theme that I kind of see, or the biggest thing overall in the book, is kind of the haunting of, uh, the haunting of guilt in her past. Mm-hmm. As you can see with Beloved coming back and, like, everything, like, like, connecting from her past kind of coming to her with Polly D and all the memories and even like the flashbacks they all kind of connect to how she feels now okay um what about anyone else has uh, any thoughts to share I think the main theme would be like the um slavery would be one of the main themes on in the novel mm-hmm. and I, I think it helps us like get a better understanding of um like i said before like the perspective and like also the dehumanization and the torment that caused you know 
that cause trauma onto the characters. So mm. I do think that it is a big theme throughout the story. Okay. Uh, for me, I think some of the themes that I, I think I was able to surmise was, I think, the true just damage of slavery and what it does to people. How it, like, mentally, physically traumatizes them. And, um, you know, the community's responses to such a devastating event. Uh... So that that's what I I was able to surmise. So <clears throat> what do you guys think a beloved's appearance represents? I think it kind of goes back to the guilt and it kind of um it might honestly just represent slavery in general, the guilt that she has from what she had to do because of her past experience, the the insanity that they had to go through throughout the um, them being slaves. So she, to what I thought, she kind of represented just slavery coming back in a human form to haunt them and to to traumatize them all over again. Mm, interesting. Um, I thought the way I saw Beloved was I I, I kind of saw her as a symbolism for um slavery because you know in the book you know she describes basically going through the middle passage um the transatlantic uh slave route that uh you know took the you know enslaved peoples from uh africa you know to the Americas. so that's that's what i was able to surmise um well like samantha said i feel like it was a guilty um conscious of her past Mm -hmm. You know, like, coming back to torture her as it went on. So. Altogether, um, uh, what were your overall thoughts on the book? Um, did you guys enjoy it? Did you guys find it informative? Like, what was the, I guess, thing for you? It was very informative. I wouldn't say I enjoyed reading everything mm -hmm. that happened during the book, but it was very informative and good for educational purposes. Okay. Uh, anyone else have any other thoughts to give? Or do you think, think we... you it, Like my perspective. Mm -hmm. and I... Everything. <laughs> you know they have to they went through like i get another understanding about the topic itself so i like i like just like rosalie said i wouldn't really say i enjoyed the whole thing but uh, i think i did think it was a good uh, read okay well for me um i found it informative i didn't enjoy it considering the subject matter and you know considering how much of it you know a lot of that in institutional stuff is you know currently proliferated into our our modern world you know especially in you know the black community so i didn't find it too enjoyable but i found it i found it informative i found it prospect i found it important to broaden my uh perspective and um yeah with that uh we sign off so uh, see y'all later <laughs>